All right, so if you're watching this video, you probably know that spray paint art is pretty amazing stuff. A lot of people wonder how you paint galaxies, and there's a lot of kinds of galaxies, and these are some of the more intricate and interesting galaxies that we're painting on SprayPaintArtSecrets.com. But before you get to the, the really cool stuff, it's good to start with the basics. So I'm gonna show you a very simple, basic spiral galaxy, a full lesson. Here's how you do it with the planet underneath. So I'm starting out, I'm using a color place, uh, which is also called Fast Dry. It's a paint you can get at Walmart. It's really easy to control. And I'm just drawing in the spiral. And if you notice, the spiral has those two arms spiraling out from the center. They don't have to spiral out exactly from a particular place as long as they're spiraling out from the center. So we're just starting in black and white. And I want you to go in there with some poster board, holding it in your left hand, if you're right-handed, or you know, other way around if you're other-handed, um, using it as something that you can spray against. You see, you can spray the black against it, you can spray the white against it, and really get those small little spiral arms in there. And then the color place is so nice and easy to control. Super cheap paint from Walmart, like a dollar. Um, it used to be called color place, called fast dry now. Uh, you can go back in with the white and use that same piece of poster board to control where it goes, and you can create this gorgeous spiral by bouncing your paint off of that poster board. So once we've got the spiral, what we're gonna do is we're going to add the color on top of it. But a cool thing that you can do is like the, the arms of the galaxy are actually, they're kind of like shedding light. You see how the light comes off sort of in, in little, um, little portions, like a little bit comes off and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. That's a good way to make it look really authentic. Okay, so let's make our planet super simple. We've got green, like a leaf green and a turquoise. And I'm just spraying white on top of it. And crumple up my newspaper and brush it across. And then it's gonna look like an Earth-like planet. All you gotta do is add some white at the top and add some black at the bottom. And there's your planet. So if you let that dry a little bit, then put your plate on it, then we're ready to make the rest of the sky. So let's start filling in the rest of the night sky around that planet. So start off around the galaxy being really careful to not get overspray on the galaxy. And with those fast dry color place paints, it's pretty easy to do. Spraying all around, the sky's gonna be all black. And then maybe I'll put a little bit of blue above the planet because that planet's gonna have an atmosphere. And you know, you can always put a little dot of blue here and there just to have like a, a nice place for a little galaxy. So let's add some colors now to our spiral. You need paints that are somewhat transparent to add the colors. Now what does transparent means? It means you can see through them. That could be a paint that is very light, you know, that you can do a very light dusting. All of these fast dry paints from Walmart are very light and they're super cheap and they will work. They have reds and all different colors. That would work fine. Molotov has some nice transparent colors. Krylon metallic colors are transparent. Not Rust-Oleum metallic, but Krylon metallic is transparent. So I just sprayed a little bit basically on the outer arms of that galaxy. I left the center nice and bright and it's got a little color now. To make that uh, little, little black hole over there, you can use a CD with a hole in it or you can have a place where you've cut out a number of circles and spray through that. It's cool to have a little black hole. Um, I've added a few spray stars in those galaxies. I've added a few little little adornments by poking a hole in some poster board and spraying a few little stars around. And then to make a comet, you tilt your can upside down and tap on it. Now, if you want to make like a sun, you can create a whole bunch of different rays by spraying up against your poster board. Now notice I'm spraying onto the poster board, not onto my painting, and then spraying a big spray in the middle of all those rays. So it looks like it's radiating out and we'll, we'll put a sun in that in just a little bit. Let's make another, more, more of a star over here, same way. Spraying up against that poster board, onto the poster board and the paint bounces off onto the painting. You get a nice delicate little star. I like to put some, some red stars here and there, sometimes in my universe. And I can put a little red glow around them and then they take on sort of a life of their own. They're like dwarf stars. If you're, the center of your galaxy isn't bright enough, you could add a little bit more white there to make sure it's bright enough. Put a little green glowy star. 
you need two kinds of greens to make the glowy stars. You need a, a soft, transparent green and you need a sharp, uh, turquoisey green that you can spray in the middle so it shows up. Another way to do it is to spray a little bit of a, a white star and then just spray the clear turquoisey color over it. But you've got to really find some cool cans that allow you to do this, that are controllable and also that can, can be at least somewhat transparent. So there with a circle cut out, I put a little sun in the middle of my sun. I add a little yellow paint to it and put a white sun in the middle. And there you go. That's a cool way to do a, a spiral over an Earth-like planet. It's real simple. If you want to learn even more cool stuff, like how to do really juicy, amazing looking galaxies, visit spraypaintartsecrets.com and sign up as a basic or gold member. If you have any questions, email me, Elisa, more personally at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. Hope to see you inside. Ciao.